All right, guys. So the next project's the 8162T. So I had to put my Onan hat on for that adventure. So let's take a look at what we got to do to this thing. All right. So some of you guys might remember I got this tractor a couple years ago. Um, the gentleman passed that had it, and his son sold it on Facebook. And uh, I think I paid 75 bucks for it. I can't remember, but. It's got some issues for sure. Number one, the grill obviously is totally screwed up. Number two, someone put this rig choke cable on here. It's like off a push mower or something. It was screwed onto the uh, hood where the hood screws into the dashboard, which is kind of funny. Um, let's pull this back. And let's pull this back. Someone's got this dual post battery, which is just a problem waiting to happen. Um, I don't know what they were smoking when they put that in there, but it's got some rigged up crap on the ignition switch, which again, I don't know what they're thinking, but basically there's like a push button switch for the starter and then this toggle switch. And I believe that the toggle switch is running the coil and the push button switch is engaging the starter. You look down here at some of these wires you can see they're all monkeyed around with and everything like he's got all these wires screwed on everything whatever obviously we're gonna have to redo all that um, there's some issues with the dashboard here you can see that they've monkeyed with this um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell you can call this but the, the lever is about to fall off here but this here is where the safety is and I don't ever remember seeing a bolt like that go through there. Um, yeah, so that's gonna have to be addressed. The deck, I don't know what the deal is with the deck, but it's all screwed up. Um, blue paint, it's got like a mud flap that somebody screwed over the rust hole. This deck is garbage, but it probably has good spindles and gearbox and parts. Um, I can't get the deck off the machine because the, uh, the pin down there that holds on the lift rod is bent and let's see the button that goes on top of the engagement lever here is missing there's supposed to be a plastic thing around there uh, the seat is trashed right it's got screwed up mufflers it's got let's see here It's got a rag on top of the carburetor. <laughs> um, it's got just coils of wire down here. Don't ask me what that crap's doing. Um, yeah, so that's the 8162T. It does have snow plow brackets, which is nice. Um, the uh, um, clutch is a little thin looking, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, on this side here, there might not even be any lining left on the thing. Yeah, I don't think there's any lining left. I think it's gone. Huh, interesting. I'm going to have to compare that to uh, the 8163B over here. Oh, back to the 81, back to the 8163B. You see how this works for the engagement here. There's a, there's a carriage bolt that rides on the switch for the neutral safety switch is missing on the other one let's just look at the clutch on this for a minute we'll compare it um, yeah yeah that clutch oh maybe the clutch is good it's just different lining i guess so anyways yeah we'll come back to that flat tire in the back i was going to throw a tube in it and you know the seat bolts on the bottom see how these were on there like they just rotted off so <laughs> this thing's a piece as a makeshift seat I guess I'll just take two bolts and bolt them on the bottom but I'd rather put a different seat on it this one has a curved PTO engagement lever the 8163B has a straight PTO engagement lever I'm sure that the um, headlight switch and everything is shot. Let's just see. 
yeah, the shot. Um, obviously, if if he put this choke cable on there, there's got to be something wrong with the original one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got an hour meter. It's got 1,097.8 hours. Who knows if it worked or not, but it's had some had some hours on it in its life. So that is 81 to T. T. So the first uh, thing we're going to do, I guess, is try to rewire the key switch and everything. I'm just going to put a regular in-deck key switch back in there. And maybe, you know, we'll have to trace down those wires and just replace them. It looks like it has a rigged up regulator up here also, voltage regulator. Let's check that out. Uh, I don't know what the hell this guy did, but he's got really bad wires that he used down here. Voltage regulator should be bolted in down here. It's just loose. It's flapping in the breeze. But this thing has a lot of potential. Just needs a little bit of work to get it up to snuff. I got a grill, so we're good with that. So it should be good to go.